First at five, tropical storm Isaias is barreling toward the North Carolina coast. It certainly is. Chief Meteorologist Laney Pope is getting a closer look at the newest track just out moments ago. Laney, what are you seeing? Well, some things that we had expected. It is making that turn now to the north northeast. Also, the storm is expected to become a hurricane before it makes landfall. It is 60 miles south of Charleston right now, a little over 100 miles to the south southwest or should say east of Myrtle Beach. Beach. Landfall is expected tonight, North Carolina, South Carolina coast, maybe within the next few hours, if not before midnight for sure. The biggest threats in our area are wind and flooding, and that is mainly central and eastern North Carolina. That's why we've got tropical storm warnings up and even a hurricane warning up from the Wilmington area south and west. You can see some of the showers and thunderstorms coming in. We even had some showers interacting with a front that is overhead, and that's created significant rain in our area from Moxville to Yakinville to Winston Salem up toward Danbury, also up toward Martinsville. We've seen one to two inches over a lot of communities here in our area, even some two to four inches over parts of Yakin as well as Davie counties. Heavy rain is in the forecast, especially for our eastern communities with a flash flood watch in effect for our communities as well as eastern North Carolina. Severe weather looks to stay down east, so we're not as concerned about that in our area. You can see some of the wind gusts now going up in Charleston now with a 53 mile per hour wind and a storm again is moving to the north northeast now, so kind of making that little bit of a turn which will kind of steer it east of Charleston, maybe even east of Georgetown, but it is expected to make landfall here shortly this evening and maybe in the vicinity of Georgetown or Myrtle Beach and then working its way across eastern North Carolina right along I-95 and because it is moving so fast, it's going to be well to the north by tomorrow afternoon up near New York State. That fast movement could take down some trees in the eastern part of our state with the winds that are expected to be at tropical storm force strength for many hours tonight into the morning. We'll have more on the forecast coming up. And in addition to that, the effects of this tropical storm are already being felt along the Georgia coast. Danae Bucci is in Tybee Island right now with a closer look at conditions there. Now the wind has definitely picked up since we were here last night, but the biggest difference can actually be seen in the water. I'm going to take a step out of the way so you can actually see how big the waves are getting out here on Tybee Island. Tropical storm Isaias is passing by our coast right now, dumping bands of rain onto the island. The double red flag warning has been extended from last night, meaning people are not allowed to swim, but that is largely being ignored again. Now one of the biggest things we saw from last night was that the tide actually got so high the entire beach was submerged. Now that of course has since receded, but it could come back. Reporting from Tybee Island, Danae Bucci, back to you. All right, thank you so much, Danae. Be sure to turn on your severe weather alerts on the WXI 12 News mobile app and get updates on ESIS straight to your phone. We're going to keep you updated on air and online as the storm approaches the coast.